Deserts and high-yield agriculture just don't gel. But in Israel, large swaths of the arid countryside are now producing lots of high-value vegetables, fruits and flowers, most of which are exported to Europe. NDTV science editor Palav Bagla saw firsthand how the desert is blooming ever since Israel started using precision agriculture. Israel and India have a deep cooperation in horticulture with many farmers in Punjab and Gujarat beginning to use Israeli technology. These juicy red tomatoes, colored bell peppers are all grown in the deserts of Israel. The sun and sand of the desert is fertilized with recycled water to bring about a green revolution in the parched soils. Today, fruit orchards abound all over Israel. Most are watered using drip irrigation using recycled water. Here in the Shafdan, we collect sewage from all the central of Israel, two and a half million people sewage. We treat it here in the Shafdan and then send it to the south in good quality to agriculture use. High-tech greenhouses dot Israel, where precision agriculture is practiced to the hilt to get more crop for every drop. In Israeli farms, computers and sophisticated sensors are used to control the temperature and humidity, while fertilizers and nutrients are supplied directly to the roots minimizing wastage. Despite Israel's love for high technology, it has not permitted any genetically modified crop to be grown by the farmers. Today, Israel exports fruits, vegetables and flowers to Europe from its parched landscape. Israel, the holy land, the land of milk and honey, but a land which is very poor in natural resources, no gas, no oil, yet Israelis are harvesting the sun, harvesting water, and doing precision agriculture. There are lessons for India to be learned from Israel. With camera person Naren Godawali in Jerusalem, Pallav Bagla for NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view. Faster response time and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.